Hey, Collective Hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Shout out to the entire YouTube fam. Shout out to everyone that has booked a personal reading, guys. Everybody that has donated, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I appreciate the love and the support, Collective. What is this message for the Collective? Wow, guys, we have a new moon, okay? Excuse me, new beginnings, okay? Moon maiden here, okay? And then we have cosmic womb, the divine feminine. Wow, collective. I'm picking up on a manifestation energy. You manifested this a new beginning in this divine feminine energy. Again, this is also giving me uh, empress energy. The empress is the ultimate uh divine feminine energy guys wow this is beautiful so there's some sort of new beginning collective again that you've manifested or uh you're having uh new ideas um at this time or should i say new ideas are coming to you uh at this time okay i'm also picking up collective um uh it's time for you to be true to to uh your soul's calling okay be true to you collective i'm also picking up here um for some of you you may be in isolation right here okay you may be in isolation okay um there could be some sort of mystery as well with the moon here or something unknown uh to you at this time collective Somebody is ready for the limelight. It's like qualities that you have, right? You've been quietly cultivating these uh, many qualities uh, that has been preparing you for the limelight collective. Again, in this divine feminine energy, you've manifested this opportunity here. There's some sort of new beginning surrounding creativity here. You are walking uh, in the direction of your dreams. You're walking in the direction of your desires at this time, okay? Uh, opportunities are, are going to be effortless uh, at this time, collective. You also have divine helpers in the unseen realms with cosmic womb here. Wow, this is dope energy, guys. There is some sort of beautiful process that you are undergoing. You are birthing uh, a new you collective into being. I'm also picking up with a uh, divine feminine energy. You are fertile at this time. It's something that you're, you're, you're manifesting. It's something that is being birthed from the uh, spiritual realm to the physical realm collective. Again, you are fertile uh, at this time. It's like you are spiritually uh, pregnant collective. Again, you are spiritually uh, pregnant collective at this time with new beginnings here in a cosmic womb. I'm also picking up there's some sort of mystery or again, there is something that is unknown to you at this time with moon maiden. Okay, it's something about this new beginning that um, I feel like, again, there's, there's a mystery surrounding it. Or again, something that you don't fully understand or... Something that has not come to light yet. Again, you are pregnant in the spiritual realm. So uh, this has, has not fully birthed into the physical realm for you yet. Yeah, we have wandering between realms. Yes, thank you, Holy Spirit. This makes so much sense now. Again, wandering uh, b between realms, collective, straddling worlds. It's like so... Um, again, for some of you, again, it's something unknown. So I feel like you, there's a possibility that you are still like straddling the fence here. You're straddling the fence here. It's like, um, half of your left foot is, is, is wanting to walk into uncharted territories, right? But it's like your right foot is stuck in your comfort zone. You know, you haven't really, um, you, you haven't really, um, you're not in one state of mind, I'll say, okay? You're, you're in, um, you, you, you could also be, uh, being reinvented at this time is what I'm hearing collective. 
You guys are magicians here with the straddling world as well. This is like a true wizard, okay? A true ma magician here. This is somebody who's a master of craft here. Again, you are the birther of new ideas. Um, you are birthing new ways into being collective. You are reinventing yourself here. I'm also picking up, don't let anybody know your plans. Don't let anybody know what you're doing. Because again, I feel like it haven't fully manifested yet, right? So again, it's kind of like, you know, um, move on quietly. Whatever this is that you're doing, whatever it is that's manifesting, that you're working on, do it quietly, collective. Move quietly, okay? Move humbly, okay? Uh, be invisible to others um, during this reinvention uh, process. Again, you are, you are being reinvented, collective. You're being rebranded, collective. There's a new chapter that uh, is about to start here. So this is confirmation. Again, Straddling Worlds talks about a new chapter getting ready to start. And we have new beginnings here. This is confirmation. You are a master at something that you do, okay? I'm also picking up, see, something about your authenticity. You're being called, right, to... Um, you know, birth yourself into someone original, original, excuse me, into your authentic self collective. This is where this blessing is going to come from. This is when this blessing is going to manifest collective after you tap into your authenticity. I'm also picking up, see, it's no going backwards, right? It's no, it's, it's no going backwards collective once this new beginning come in once it is fully birth collective there is no going backwards here wow this is dope energy there is some sort of exciting future that you are cultivating here again don't break the news to nobody to anybody let people be surprised as you reinvent yourself collective wow dope energy guys let's get one more card for the collective Meditation and stillness. Yes, this is confirmation, baby, with radical acceptance at the bottom. So let me see. Can I get these straight? I can't really see, but that should be better for you guys. But again, meditation and stillness is here. This is confirmation. It says deep quiet. What did I say? Do not mention anything to anybody. Wait until you are fully reinvented. Wait until God is done doing whatever it is that he is doing in your life, okay? I'm also picking up, um, I'm also picking up, yeah, because it's also kind of like, right, listen, so when you tell, you might, you don't want to tell the wrong person your business or tell the wrong person, you know, just certain things about you or certain things that you're manifesting because you don't want them to put out any negative energy, right? To come against whatever it is that you're doing. Ultimately, it cannot stop it, but negative energy can delay it, okay? So again, you don't want whatever this is delayed collective. You don't want it delayed. Again, deep, quiet, meditation, stillness at this time. Do not tell your left hand what your right hand doing. So for those of you that have besties or, you know, partners or homeboys or whatever you want to call them, you know, do not tell your left hand what your right hand is doing. So do not tell your bestie, your homeboy, your partner, your cousin, don't tell nobody what is, uh, what is, um, taking place at this time. Again, this is a time period where you're going to be into, where well, you're called to go into isolation collective. You're, you're being called to go into isolation. Listen. I'm also picking up collective. Um, You're going to receive some sort of clarity, okay? But you need this space of silence, okay? 
to receive this clarity, okay? So again, you need to go into isolation or you are already in isolation collective. Um, you're being called to go deep at this time, to really tap in, to really connect here with meditate. Yeah, because it's kind of like, see, it's, it's something that God is trying to reveal to you or it's something that God is trying to communicate to you. Because again, when you don't, um, again, this is why obedience is better than sacrifice. See, because there's a reason that God is wanting you to go into isolation. There's a reason why God is saying, you know, do not tell your left hand what your right hand is doing. Okay. So again, if, if you are disobedient, there will be a delay in this new beginning. There will be a delay collective and whatever this is that God is doing, okay, if you, you are not obedient to the instructions. So somebody is being instructed to really, again, isolate, meditate, you know, go within deep quiet here. Again, there is a divine instruction that God is trying to give you collective. So it's imperative, again, that you, um, you know, do not tell anybody what is going on at this time, what's happening in your life, whatever it is that, you know, you are um, believing God for. You're just being called to uh, not share anything at this time, but there is a reason. The blessing is that big. The new beginning uh, is that big, collective. And I feel like this is why it's still hidden from some of you with um, Moon Maiden here. I feel like this is why it is still hidden, okay? Because it's not meant for you to tell anybody about at this time. Do not confide in anybody, okay? If it is not the Holy Spirit, baby, okay? If it is not God. Let's clarify. Wow, I'm, I split it here at the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, guys. There's definitely a new beginning, this is going to be a very solid foundation. This is you uh, creating an empire, building a legacy collective. This is generational wealth here. Why is New Beginnings here? Moon Maiden for the collective. Whoa, so this is too many... Um, this came out in, on the top here, the Eight of Wands. Wow, with the Chariot and the Six of Pentacles. Something is coming in quick. Something is coming in quick. Why is New Beginnings here for the collective? I'm also uh, picking up trust in the invisible, trust in what you don't see uh, at this time because... I feel like something is taking place again and you just, um, you're, you're unaware. We, we saw the eight of wands, okay, and the chariot. It's something coming towards you and it's coming quick. The two of pentacles. Something is about to uh, balance out for you here. Wow, here go the eight of wands again. Something is about to balance out for you quickly. This is going to happen quick with the Eight of Wands here. Wow, it's splitting here again right at the Ace of Pentacles, guys. A lot of pinnacle energy surrounding the new beginning. So this is, um, again, earth energy. You're going to be very grounded. You're going to be very stable. I feel like for some of you, you could be juggling a lot at this time, but this is about to change. Yeah, the Nine of Cups is here. Uh, for some of you, uh, there is a level of success that you are about to reach with the Nine of Cups here. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. What did I say? A lot of pinnacles surrounding this new beginning for some of you you are in a low vibrational situation at this time okay your money might be looking funny okay um again but you are coming from out of this five of pinnacle energy your finances are about to balance out here two of pinnacles five of pinnacles your finances are about to balance out again a lot of earth around new beginnings 
So this new beginning is definitely surrounding your base chakra, your root chakra, uh, stability, security, your finances here. Why is cosmic womb here? We got the queen of swords. We have the queen of swords. For some of you, I feel like you're coming from out of this queen of swords energy again because or you need to either um, tap more. See, the queen of swords is more out of all of the queens right in the tarot deck the queen of swords is like the most masculine right energy of all the queens some of you guys are being called to tap into your divine feminine energy yeah it's like you and this queen of swords energy more in this masculine energy could be why you're in um, a low vibrational situation or why you've been in a low vibrational situation in the past for so long but I see you coming out on top here with the seven of wands, okay? But again, I feel like you're being called to tap into that divine feminine energy collective. Again, that empress energy. Because that's where you manifest that. Again, that is how you manifest being tapped into that fertile energy. Why straddling worlds here? Isolation, reinvention. Wow, we got the King of Wands. We have the King of Wands here with the Chariot and the Temperance card. For some of you, um, I'm picking up, yeah, with the Three of Cups here. Um, this is something, for, for some of you, this is surrounding creativity here. This is surrounding passion, okay? Passion, creativity. I'm seeing the Knight of Pentacles. There could be some sort of solid offer that is coming towards you uh, in this with this new beginnings here. This could definitely be coming from uh, this King of Wands, okay? Why is the King of Wands here? Hold on. I got two that came out, guys. Wow. Listen, the Lovers and the Nine of Wands here came out. For some of you, this is going to be a decision that you're going to have to make here with the uh, Lovers card. I'm picking up on a decision that you are going to have to make. Yeah, because Straddling Worlds, this is talking about you um, you know, kind of having one foot forward and one foot behind, right? You're going to have to make some sort of decision. Something is nearing completion here with the nine of wands. I feel like you persevere, you push through, you've been consistent with the nine of wands here, and now your breakthrough is about to happen. But again, I feel like there's a, a decision that you are going to have to make. For some of you, this could be um, the a divine counterpart here with the lovers. Why is it deep quiet here? So this is a lot, but I'll take them. Um, temperance, chariot, and the knight of wands. Something is definitely about to be balanced out. Um, again, I feel like this could be part of the reason why you're being called to go into isolation. Yeah, you're being protected here with the devil card. You're being protected from toxicity, uh, toxic environments, toxic people. You're being protected from temptation here. This is why it's very imperative, again, that you follow the direction of the Holy Spirit, right? Go into isolation. Do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, okay? You have angelic presence around you at this time. It's something uh, that's going to take place in divine timing or you're going to come from out of this uh, deep quiet in divine timing. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of positive movement forward here with the chariot. 
again in divine timing okay yeah you're gonna be called to take some sort of action i feel like with the knight of wands so yeah there could definitely be a decision that you're gonna have to make there's a call to action and i feel like this is why you need to uh be in isolation um again to hear the voice of the lord to hear the, hear the holy spirit so you can receive some sort of divine instruction on your next step collective towards this new beginning again this is something that you are manifesting guys wow this is dope energy there could definitely be some something celebratory a celebration um surrounding whatever this is guys this is dope energy so i hope this message resonated if it did hit that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed if you would like to book a personal reading the information will be in the description below thank you guys